We're talking about Excalibur Blades and Quiggle. So Excalibur, and Bla Excalibur Blades and Quiggle. When have you heard about them fighting Each in the loser side? Top eight losers. This is typically our grand finals match right here. Usually, and we have it yeah, top usually, eight losers. Usually have them on the winner side, but today <laughs> we flipped the script. Yeah. They're in the loser side. The loser of this match or of this set of matches will be eliminated from the tournament. And that's just been a testament of how much skill has been at this tournament. Yeah. The fact that we have two champions, two of our top players, and they're battling it out against each other, not in grand finals, not in winners finals, not in losers finals. They're just in loser semis right now. Yeah, exactly. And one of them is going to go home. One of them is not going to get money today. Right. Somebody's going to get seven. <laughs> is yeah. all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, it's this tournament has been crazy. Yeah, so here, this is what we see here. So the winner of this match will have to face Hajime Shinobi. And then the winner of the Terror Rock Black Moon Rising will have to face off against Lopito. And obviously, we have E Man and JC Akira sitting in our winner semifinals currently. And I want to touch on that real quick uh, Black Moon Rising and Terror Rock. Um, for those of you guys that don't know, those guys play Lei Fang. Yeah. And Black Moon Rising has been making a big statement here at this tournament. Yeah. Bringing out really good player, taking out really good players yeah. with his Lei Fang. Yeah. Terror Rock, obviously the top player in Japan. Yeah. And of course he uses Lei Fang and he's been taking out players as well. Right now they're both on the loser side though and they both use Lei Fang. So that'll be a very interesting mirror match. Top Lei Fang player in America versus the best Lei Fang player in Japan. Absolutely. So this is a quick button check. Yep. And I'll be curious to see the character selections from both these guys. My guess is uh, Excali will probably just stick with uh, Elliot and um, Helena. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. I Bagel mean, he, will do phase in Christy, I think. He Excali was known for his alpha, but he, he pretty much let her go. Um, yeah. I think uh, the patch made her the patch adjustments made her not as strong um, and not as reliable. So I think that and we'll see Ellie right here, and we're gonna see Christy straight from uh, Quiggles here. And remember, Caliber Blades took out Quiggles earlier this year with Elliot. Then Quiggles went and researched Elliot and took him out in the next tournament. So these guys are 1-1 ever since Quiggles, I mean Caliber's Blade switched over to Elliot. Oh, I see. And this is a nice open stage here. Absolutely. And the key I is, you know, Elliot has these parries. Yeah. And he gets to set up options every time after that parry. And, and that's a good way to kill the momentum right away, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Get Absolutely. the parries. And he's done it twice already in the first round. And this could kill. I won't. Oh, oh he dropped the combo. At the very end. Thought he was unsafe. Also with yeah. a couple attacks. Tries to go for that low sweep launch, which has been really good during this uh, tournament. And this would be really good. Oh, I was going to say this could be really good if Quiggles could come back, but yeah. obviously Calibre is not having that. <laughs> uh, I think as far as uh, the stage is concerned, um, there's obviously a lot of pillars that you can take advantage of yeah. and a lot of space. Um, I guess Elliot would probably benefit a little more than Christy, but uh, yeah. they, got, they both have nice good critical chance. burst. And I like to see that from players when they're first matching up against each other. Just throw out the critical burst. See what your opponent's going to do. Are they going to respect it or not? Yeah, it's a good way to keep them honest. Be like, hey, yeah. you're going to do it or not? You know Absolutely. Because I'm, I'm definitely doing it. <laughs> and, and the other piece of the stage is the slope will affect their combos. Right. So these guys have to adjust for that. Here we go. They're spacing each other out. Definitely. Trying to figure out, trying to get a feel for each other as to what's going on. The crowd is And that's been the evolution. Closely. These guys know each other very, very well. So they're just looking to get that one hit, and then they're going to launch. They just Absolutely. need to open each other. And that's why they're doing so much spacing. And there's that parry again. We're up to four parries so far in, in just this <laughs> match alone. Nice wow, hold. Nice hold. And he, he gets trying he takes to throw. Round two. Seems like Quiggle was trying to throw. I guess he predicted he was going to stop, and then he got punched in the face. Yeah. Nice high counter throw from Quiggles there. And he there opens him up again. And the thing about Elliot is his moves look very similar. They could be a mid or could be a high, but they look so similar. You just, exactly. you just aren't sure. Anymore. And he's constantly switching mid high, mid high, mid high, and then sometimes low. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you constantly have to figure out what he's doing. The animation is kind of tricky. Yep. So you're constantly, you know, what is he actually doing? And of course, you end up with a, in there. a super launch throw. <laughs> and that's is in trouble here. Yeah, and that's another thing that Christy... Nice whip punishment throw. That's another thing that Christy's going to struggle against. His, stri his strings are so long so that even long. if he sides up the first move, yeah. his uh, second follow-up move is going to hit him at the end of the sidestep. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So Quiggle gets taken out. Quiggle's going to have to make an adjustment here. This is a smaller, closed-in stage. I think this may play into Quiggles' hands. Yeah, it might. he too. wants to be in his face. And he has that speed, you know? It's, it's Absolutely. The fastest characters on, in the game. Mm -hmm. Nice. Nice. Hold. nice hold. Wow, the camera switched up there. Yep. Definitely saved Quiggles just then, but as I say that, power bluff. That's good for the low. Does not punish Nice the low. hold from Caliber Blades. He is not allowing Quiggles to get any offense set up. 
That was unsafe. He does not punish. He yeah, he didn't punish him. He, that's going to cost him the round. Exactly. It did cost him the round. He tried to stun them and then tro uh, and, and chose to uh, throw him and then yeah. whiff. And he, went for the, he went for the strike punishment instead of the uh, throw. Here, as you can see. Nice punch out of that. We got the crowd over here cheering, as well as the crowd in the game having signs yeah. of Christy and Elliot. And this is not where Caliber Blaze wants to be. Big nope. damage. Yeah, no get up kick here. Nice deep defense. Up. This could be bad right here. And this is the round. Wow. Quiggle has not won a round his entire matchup right no, now. No, he has so not. So he needs to do something here, or else he's going to be sent home and yep. not getting a dime. And, it, and it's mostly because Caliber Blaze is making the adjustments, and Quiggles has not been able to get one of his patents, his holds off. He's not been successful with his this holds is, at this all. Is this could be game and this right is here. Game. This is game. Oh, oh my he god, he's got the juggle. And he wow. gets a hold. Unbelievable. Wow. He gets up, jabs up, and holds the jab. Wow. And that, ladies and gentlemen, unbelievable. Quiggles is considered our number one player, and he's just gotten taken down. That's how crazy this tournament has been. This 3-0 both matches. 3-0. But the part that tripped me out was at the end was Excalibur Blades drops the juggle. Drops the juggle. Quiggle gets up and decides to jab, and he holds the jab. He just holds the jab. Okay. Yeah. Unreal. Unreal. He, this man, Caliber Blades, came to play. All right. All right. For all you guys, same code, E6 and Vaping Supplies. Use the promo code NEC16 to save 20% on all e-liquid at thesteamcode.com. So definitely check it out. Get what you can. Get the discount. Don't miss out. There's no reason to pay full price. We're hooking you up. That's right. Save that 20%. Wow. That was an incredible match. I'm in shock. 3-0, 3-0. Twice. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to happen that way. I really yeah, didn't. No way. But here is the matchup that I wanted to see, and I believe a lot of the community members wanted to see. Yes, I want to see Li Fang versus Li Fang. America's one of America's top Li Fang players versus Japan's number one player.